Okay, gentlemen, I want to do a, a bit of a rapid fire here. I'm going to mention some topics and some names, and I want to get your feel for their next 12 months. Uh, Adam first in uh, London. Mr. Trump, thumbs up, thumbs down. Big thumbs up if he can patch up relations between America and Russia for the sake of peace in the Middle East and the wider world, all else is forgiven. Dima, Donald Trump. Uh, a big question mark, which is still better than complete thumbs down for Obama. Mark. Thumbs up foreign policy, uh, Russia, but uh, we don't know where he's going with China and Iran. Big thumbs down domestically, uh, a neoliberal revolution in the United States. Okay, next one. Adam, Brexit. What What's its future in the new year? Um, thumbs chopped off because even though Brexit's a good <laughs> idea, no one, including those who are for it, knows what the hell it means. Okay, thumbs cut off. That's the best answer so far. Dima, Brexit. Uh, thumbs up for uh, making David Cameron leave. Excellent. And saving us from that person. Thumbs yes. down for the mainstream media, which kept saying that after Brexit, even after the talk of Brexit, the British economy would collapse. I really it didn't. I really <laughs> wish Donald Trump would say to the Western media, you're fired, Mark. Okay, <laughs> Brexit. Uh, thumbs up because it shut the Western media up or, or made them complain about the results and their, uh, exposed their gulf between the people and themselves and the elite. Thumbs down because we don't know whether it's actually going to happen until Theresa May files the ar requisite articles with the EU. I don't believe it. And we've seen cases in British court. We don't right. even know if it's going to happen. Yeah, that, well, that was really well thought out by the prime minister. Adam, back to you. The political fortunes of Hillary Clinton in the new year. <laughs> um, I don't know about her political fortunes, but I think her other fortunes will increase. So thumbs down for that. She already has enough. <laughs> <laughs> Pr uh, prison time? I don't know. Investigation? What? Uh, well, uh, I would just remind our I, I doubt listeners it, but one and our help. viewers that we had Bill Clinton as the biggest fan of Russia in the world, and we had Hillary Clinton visiting the Orthodox Church. Don't believe all the images. So, okay, good uh, one. That's a good uh, one. I mean, we should not be over optimistic about persons. Okay, Hillary Clinton. Uh, a big thumbs down for her success, for her ambitions. Um, I look towards her seeking political asylum in Saudi Arabia. Okay, <laughs> Adam, the, uh, the whole EU project here, and we got a lot of elections coming up. We have the French presidential election coming up. I mean, if Pen wins that that's a really big nail in the coffin of that project go ahead Adam I think that Le Pen is a thumbs up I think that she has spoken on behalf of the people of Donbass more than anyone else if she gets in the ye will have to change or die Dima uh, I think that Le Pen is right when she says that France out of the eurozone or France out of NATO would be better off but I think that Fillon has better chances simply because he is more moderate. And he's he not is, Le Pen. And he's not Le Pen, exactly. His second name is not that. Uh, well, certainly the portrayal of Le Pen as Putin's puppet is not going to help her <laughs> in the election. But she's running against another one of Putin's puppets, so we don't actually know where it's going. We're going to see... <laughs> we we got, we got we're we're going to see social conservative <laughs> left reversals in this French election. It's all up in the air. Polls have... Uh, polls have failed. Big okay. thumbs yeah, down yeah, to okay. polls. I, I so that. we don't know what's okay. going to happen That's in France. I'm sorry, just a small footnote. In modern Europe, if you are not Putin's puppet, you lose the election. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Adam, Syria and Turkey. What's the parlay? Go ahead. <clears throat> Well, Erdogan is the Zsa, Zsa Gabor of geopolitics. He has a different political divorce all the time. <laughs> he owes his political life and perhaps more to Russia and Putin. They tipped him off about the coup. Now that they're in with Russia and Iran on the trilateral, pro uh, on the trilateral uh, peace talks, I'm very cautiously optimistic, but I don't trust the man Erdogan at all. Okay, Dima, Turkey uh, and Syria. Uh, I think that uh, with Turkey, we have a great history of retribution and repentance because uh, Erdogan, uh, by getting involved in the Syrian war, put his country in great danger. There were terrible terrorist acts. On the other hand, he proved himself capable of correcting his mistakes, restarting the dialogue with Russia. Unlike other leaders in the West. Unlike right. the EU and the United States, which are simply incapable mm -hmm. of doing that. Mark, so, Turkey, uh, I, if Turkey. I were uh, from the EU, I would invite Turkey. I would be jealous of Turkey. 
Two, two big thumbs down for the mad sultan. He continues his jihadi proxy war on Syria. That hasn't changed. He continues insisting on regime change. He began uh, with zero problems with his neighbors. Now he has problems and he's all, occupying two of them militarily. Um, he's, he has bad relations with the U.S. Uh, and uh, he's had bad relations with Russia. Um, and with the EU. Putin is, is dancing with him right now only because if he manages to cut a deal with Erdogan, however unlikely, he can cut the U.S., the U.K., France, Qatar, and Saudi, who won't be able to supply you know, their proxies without Turkey's border. You know, you know, Mark, I think we'll be sitting here a year from now, and we'll be talking about the other leaders that Assad survived. Yeah. And okay? let, let's not forget about his pogroms at home. Mm. Erdogan's pogroms at home. He is the bogeyman Which, that the Western media tries to tell us that Putin is, this NATO member, is doing in their own country against all voices of the South. Okay, I want to change